This Pitch Breakfast video is brought to you by Spangler and Agins, attorneys for Charlotte's startup community. How's everybody doing today? Everybody show a smile so everybody can about raising their hand. Who brushed their teeth this morning? I said smiles, I don't want to see hands. All right, we'll keep those smiles going. Who flossed their teeth last night? All right, I got hands and smiles. A couple of smiles disappeared. That's all right. We're going to do, oh, that's right. We are U Floss, the world's first custom floss. I think I turned it off. I did. Ha ha, back. All right, so we obtain this by obtaining your individual dental pattern. This floss is made and designed with you in mind. What we do is we take your impression kit and we send it directly to your home. Once you've completed this kit, you upload the picture onto your phone and then it is uploaded onto our system. Our system then creates a custom floss pattern for you. Now the reason why this is unique is because the dental industry in America is a $31 billion industry. We look to capture about 10% of that market, but the reason why it's so big is because everybody knows your smile. It's the first thing that people see when they look at you. It, it makes you feel good when you see somebody smile. But when you have something stuck in your teeth after a meal or something of that sort, your confidence has gone down just a little bit. And 80% of the cavities that are occur in your mouth are where brushing does not reach. So it lets us know that tooth decay and gum disease is directly a result of not flossing or in some other cases, just poor oral care. Time is what we have, is, the, is our most luxurious convenience. And with that, UFloss gives you the ability to floss in an amazing amount of time without having to worry about the time that it takes, you just get it done. And with UFloss, we make it super convenient to purchase. So you will download our app with anything that's Android or iOS compatible. And then from there, you will, which button you press this one? That one, yep. All right. You will receive your impression kit with the first initial payment. And then from there, you will upload it with our software. And that will be compatible and go to our integrated tooling to develop your first, very own UFloss. A, a device that flosses your teeth in unison. So a lot of you are probably wondering, huh? <laughs> it's okay, I, can, I got it, thanks. So a lot of you are probably wondering, huh, how are we able to take an image just from our phone and convert that into a digital imprint? We're able to do that because we have designed a custom and highly proprietary software that allows us to convert that image from your phone into the STL file or any other type of digital asset that we'll need to create that uh, imprint, which actually brings me to our revenue model. So we have three primary revenue models. So the first one being, of course, why the recurring, um, the recurring revenue that we'll be receiving from the monthly subscription. Second, of course, being through the one-time purchase of the, um, through the one-time uh, purchase made through the initiational fees. And then the last one, of course, is being we're going to repurpose the software that we're going to be using for the digital imprint into a software as a service platform. And we'll also be generating uh, revenue that way. That's also good. Oh, you just paused. Next one. So, through uh, testing and statistics, our human tourists, human. Uh, our customer heuristics is from the ages of 18 to 24, they're like mainly looking for this item. So as 25 to 34, our item is more of a luxury item purchase. So we're going for the people that are looking to convenience their life at a faster rate with flossing. Flossing is such an inconvenience part of our day. Uh, we have the water pick, floss picks, and original floss. And none of that has been innovated since 1908. 19, 19. 19, never. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready for that day. Uh, we'll be selling our item for 249. That includes lab fees, including your first ever floss print that has never been created before. 50% um, of the world is unsure. Dental insured, 
medical insured. So we're really trying to capture that audience that doesn't go to the dentist, that just wants to get that convenience of flossing in their own home. And on that note, since we have CMS superintendent here, right there, most children in elementary school miss about six days. Oh, that's a lot, dang, all right. Uh, miss about six days, high school students miss about three days because of dental issues. This is gonna give them a rapid chance to do it in a fashion that they're not looking at the parents like, oh my God, I got floss today. No, it's happening, it's right here, right now. This is honestly not just a flossing mechanism, this is a time machine because it happens so fast. What we've done is we've partnered with 27 Software, oh, that's skipped, uh, 3D Systems to bring you an amazing product that you're able to receive right at your home. Everything happens at your home. You receive the kit, you receive the, you take the picture, and you also receive the refills monthly, all from the company of your home. Again, as we were stating, that is our value proposition, is that no longer do you have to go to the dentist to obtain oral care. That's it. Uh, guys, nice job. Uh, first question, whenever I see a, a B2C pitch is would I use it? And uh, absolutely, I think uh, it's an interesting product. Um, the 249 up front could be, it, it feels pricey to me for something that I'm not sure is gonna work. Um, I'm not sure if I have a recommendation there, but uh, that, that's the only thing that would concern me is, you know, it, does this thing really work? The other thing is, do you have the product? Do you yes, have we, have a, yeah. we have a prototype, and we're also going through medical teams with 3D system to find okay. out what's the best comfort that's going to go in your mouth and contain and eliminate those, um, those, dis those uh, cavities and tar that prevent genovitis. That's what our main concern. So, uh, we definitely going through severe testing with that. Okay. Well, with a B2C product, if you're pitching to a group, um, passing the product around, you know, speaks a thousand words. The that, other thing is. That's my fault. I actually left it on the nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. You pulled I it out this morning. I it last night because he usually forgets everything. Yeah. I was like, I'm taking this. I'm going to take care of it. <laughs> Getting ready, ironing my shirt, feeling good. I get here, I'm looking at everybody. I forgot it on the nightstand. The other thing that would work really well for you guys, take a page out of Aaron's book and do a video. Explain how you take the snapshot, you get it on your phone and you send it in. You could do a, a video in 90 seconds that explains the process and then put it on your website. I think that would go really far. Um, but interesting idea. I, I, think, um, I think it's exciting. You're gonna need to tighten up the pitch a little bit. I know you're using three people. Tell us who you, who you are, um, you know, do you, are any of you a dentist? We are not a dentist, so I'm glad that nobody lied to us when we asked that you floss. <laughs> People <laughs> lie when they asked that you floss. Uh, we are not dentists, we're just very passionate about health. We all three met at the YMCA, which I see a lot of faces out here that I remember from the YMCA, very healthy individuals in this room. And uh, we met and we're just talking about how important it is to be fit, and we just went deeper down that road uh, when I came across my parents who were actually victims of tooth decay and tooth loss. And 30% of individuals 65 or older will lose all of their teeth if they do not take care of them. So when I saw that, it automatically put a passion in me. I love my smile. It looks good. But I think everybody's smile looks good as well. And I feel that if we start with ourselves, we can help everybody else. Mm -hmm. And we developed this product because we were tired of flossing and we know how important it is. I was talking to John today. If, you, if anybody gets a chance to talk to John today, he's got a really nice smile. But he just told me, tell me your business now. He doesn't floss. He's never flossed a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he doesn't floss. And we want to make sure that in 15 years, he doesn't lose just one tooth. So the only thing, so establish credibility, introduce yourselves and your area of expertise, um, that would help. Yeah, I, I would, I would uh, reinforce that, that you know, I, you have more about the team, right? Who are you what, and how come you're relevant to the, this, what you're pitching? Um, also, pr probably need to get a little bit clearer on where you are as a company and what you're looking for, right? Because I wasn't sure if it was just a general product pitch or if it was really a practice investor pitch. And of course, if you're gonna, if it really is a practice investor pitch, you really need to get down to here's what we're looking for, right? And here's what, uh, whatever you're asking for, where it's going to take you.
right. right? So it would have been useful to have a little bit more on that. One of my big questions on anything that's product related uh, that you really need to bring up for investors is, do you have patents? Have you done any kind of patenting around this? And uh, where does that stand, right? If you're patent pending, you, you ought to be, that, that definitely needs to be in your pitch. Um, the, the biggest thing, though, that, that hit me on this is it sounded like you were trying to go direct to consumer to, to, to do this play. And um, as I said, my, my initial reaction to the pricing is, you know, I can, I can walk into the Rite Aid down the street and, and get a little tube of uh, or a little thing of floss for, you know, for a couple of dollars, right? Um, and yeah, it takes me a little time, but you know, um, I, it just seemed like the pricing was a little difficult. Um, I, I was concerned about how you get customer adoption. I'm going to finally stop with questions and let you answer. But the final, <laughs> the, the final point is, um, I, I would love to have understood a little bit more of why you decided to go down the direct B to C path instead of B to B, because this seemed like this would be a much more natural fit of actually selling the dentist, right? Uh, and saying do do this in the dental office because they'll, they'll they're the they're, they're they're where the customers are yeah. and they're professionals and they could actually do all the imaging stuff for you right because they've already got equipment that does that um, and then the final thing I'll, I'll leave you with in terms of your pricing is think about razors and razor blades right razors don't cost much that's on purpose razor blades cost way the hell too much that's also on purpose. That's all. As you guys talk for a while. Yeah, I think they're going to call it 30. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I don't have that many questions. <laughs> Those are good questions. Um, if you could maybe talk about your customer discovery process. Uh, unlike Rob, I'm not sure I would use it. Uh, I use the inexpensive means of, I believe in flossing. Right. Uh, but I would use something inexpensive. I get a whole bag of picks for $2. Uh, I'm not sure how you've quantified the customers actually need it. I assume you've gone through some of that, and if you could explain to us kind of what you've done so far to make sure that people actually need it. Mm -hmm. So actually, so coming back to your question, the reason why um, it's important for people to be able to access you floss, um, initiate floss in their home, is because we're essentially the Netflix for floss, right? In the sense that uh, instead of people having to leave their home and go to the dentist, or their dental care, they're able to take steps to do that on their own at home, which is going to be an important part of our business model for a particular target market. The ages of, uh, you know, between like 24 and, and 35 is who we're targeting specifically. And the reason for that is simply, again, nobody likes going to the dentist. Most people, let me correct that, most people do not like going to the dentist in, in our generation of millennials, anything that's quick, fast, and right to you, you'll pay for it. And that's our psychographic is luxury spenders. And so as you stated that you would you know, go to the local pharmacy and get a box boss. And honestly, that's what we want you to do. If you see our local, if you see our company, you're like, I'm not paying that, that's great. Because I want you to go to the local pharmacy and get that box box because at least you're taking care of what we started this whole thing for is to make sure that you take care of your oral care. Oh, and yes, we are patented. Oh, yeah, that's right. I <laughs> forgot about that part. copyrighted and everything you think of. Right. It's been legally ironed out. Okay. I guess one follow-up question if we have another minute. We, do, uh, we got two minutes. I thought on your website I saw something about the Charlotte Venture Prize program. Yes. Are you part yes. of the i -Corps? Can you talk about maybe what you did in that program and what you learned from it? Sure, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so in the Charlotte Venture Buyers Program, which we were extremely grateful to be a part of, they helped us understand our market, uh, our target market and our customer segmentation in such a detailed way that it helped us understand that where we thought we were when we had investor pitches or conversations with individuals about the success of this company, it superseded it. It, it took us to another mentality, to where we are today we're excited that we are able to go confidently. And, and though we came to this pitch and we gave you the information, you asked some great questions that we really should have filled our time with, that's what they gave us. They gave us that confidence to say, when we're up here, this is the information. We didn't say it, but we got it ready for you. And that's what they helped. They helped us prepare so much. It was great. We're very grateful for that. Yeah, sure. How about a question from the audience? No questions, but I want to talk about the team. <laughs> All right, do young lady right okay. there. Right? Oh, that's my buddy. That's my buddy. That's the great Ed Vivid, Dr. Ed Vivid. He is a, a, 
a dentist up in Chicago. Uh, went to Loyola School of Dentistry. Uh, we spoke at a, a wedding, and he was floored with the idea. Said, I want to get behind this product. I want to help you get it into clinical trials. And so we got into a conversation with ECU about putting it through their dentistry program through clinical uh, trials. We're going to go with UNC, because I know there's a lot of UNC fans in here. However, that is a very historic dental program, and we would like to go with the newest form of dental, which is ECU. They have the newest dental school, so they got the new stuff. Check them out. You, young sir. Are there licensing opportunities for you guys to look into? Uh, we have uh, actually spoken with dentists up in New York City where they would like to sell the product out of their uh, uh, what is it dental office. And we are ex exercising, we are entertaining that idea because we understand they already have the portfolio. So we've spoken with them that what we'll do, they will send us the their files and we will send their customers the already completed uh, UFLOSS because they will already have their FLOSS pack created. So yes. Any other questions? This guy right here. Oh wait, can I ask another question? Yeah, we're I want to. Oh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.